RBI, what are your thoughts on the newly announced MCU X-Men flail? Like, slightly anticipating it, but by Trust in Marvel has drained out. I tend to not watch the shows at all. So, it wasn't announced. It was reported. Difference being, Kevin Feige announces things. He can officially announce things at a con. He can put out a press release. He can officially tell Variety exclusive. I'm telling you, I'm announcing the new X-Men movie. It's That's not what was what really happened. Uh, it was a report that now that the strike is order, they're taking pitches from people for the X-Men movie. So it's, it's kind of like the people know in Hollywood stuff starting on it. They're meeting with people to find the writer and all that fun stuff. It's not at the stage where Kevin Feige's like, 2016, it's coming. We're not there yet. So, and I just say that to clarify because the terminology really matters because there's a lot of things that get reported that don't happen. That's not the same thing as a movie that was actually announced getting canceled. Or a movie that's not even announced yet getting delayed doesn't mean anything. A movie that's announced for a date getting delayed means there's shakeups happening. So, what do I make of it? Uh, as you kind of said, excitement for the MCU is dwindling. And their reputation has taken a hit over the last few years. That they're, they're not as consistent. Some of it's not even... There's two sides to it. There's the quality of individual projects. And then there's excitement for the MCU as a whole. And I would say that quality of individual projects, I think the highs aren't quite as high. There's still some really good stuff that has come out, really like Guardians 3. The highs aren't quite as high as they used to be, and the lows are lower than they've ever been before. And there's a few, there's more things down here. Some of that's just they put more things out, therefore there's more things that will be bad. But it feels a little bit like if the MCU is this, over the last few years it's done this. It's not that there's nothing good, there's nothing I'm excited about, but... There's more things that are significantly less quality as individual projects, not quite as many of these top fives. But, like I make to be clear, as individual things, I don't think that's even the big problem, the individual things. That's not where I think the loss of excitement is. It's on the other side. The MCU as a whole, I think the excitement went from here, Endgame, Infinity War. This is like the, this is a cultural moment. It's a 10 out of 10. It, the excitement level at the time. And every, that's why it became highest grossing film of all time for like a month. Because the excitement level was here. And it's now like dropped dramatically. Movies overall, I think, did kind of this. Just a, it, It's a drop, but it's not nearly as dramatic as the MCU as a whole. And what they did really well is that for th about three, four years there, every movie felt like an event. Every movie felt like it was building excitement it felt must watch. You needed to see the next one to be to like figure out what little pieces are going to lead up to Endgame. And even when there was a movie that was lower, like uh, Captain Marvel, it still made a billion dollars because you just wanted anything that helped the MCU as a whole in that excitement. But they put out too much stuff and they oversaturated. So each individual thing is less exciting. And when you have weekly Marvel, the idea of it being an event is gone. And then some of the, a lot of the shows were so exciting the first half and then not as exciting as you left it. More of those movies that weren't quite as strong. And so people just kind of... There, there was a FOMO during that great run from like 2016 to 2019. You didn't want to miss out on anything. You wanted to see an opening weekend to talk about it. And with the TV shows, that was gone. You can't, very few people can watch all of it anymore. Therefore, the idea of missing a Marvel thing isn't a big deal anymore. Everyone's kind of missing them. And so then that idea that it's the water cooler show or water cooler movie that everyone's talking about on Monday when you go back to work, that's gone. And so that Marvel as a whole has diminished its excitement. So how does that apply to the X-Men? Like, I would say that... If they hire someone that gets me excited for an X-Men project, if they turn things around, I could be very excited for an X-Men project. X-Men has needed a hard reboot for a while. 
Because th- this is a movie that predates the modern... This is one of the movies that kicked off the modern era of comic book movies, but it was well before the era of cinematic universes, long-running franchises. Like, they made a, a trilogy, and that was, like, kind of going to be it. And then it turned into something that ended up going for almost 20 years, just shy of 20 years. So it went on for, like, 15 years after it was supposed to end... And so it was a broken continuity and comic books had changed and so much, so many things that like it needed a fresh start. 20 years later, sure, that's fair. Compared to like how often we reboot Batman and Spider-Man for 20 years, sure, fair. We've only got, we've only got one Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. That's it. So sure, there's a lot of potential there, but I, the MCU, I need the right people to be working on it. But uh, like the fact that my excitement for MCU overall is diminishing a great deal doesn't change my excitement for an individual project if the right people are involved with it. That's the way I would think about it. Like I could be like a specific thing. I could be pumped for it. Even if overall MCU excitement keeps doing this. Most of these clips are pulled from my Patreon live streams. I do about six live streams every single month for $2 per month, $20 per year. You can get access to all the exclusive videos and live streams for $5 per month. You get your name on my end card. At the top tier, you get a 30 minute video chat with me each month. The link down below in the description has more information.